Silver nitrate is a precursor to many silver compounds. Metallic silver cannot be dissolved by most acids, so the most common acid to dissolve it with is nitric acid. The nitric can oxidize silver into silver nitrate which then lets us react with it with other acids. It was once called lunar caustic because silver was called luna by ancient alchemists who associated silver with the moon. Silver salts have antiseptic properties. In 1891, a gynecologist Sigmund Kred introduced the use of diode solutions of silver nitrate in newborn babies' eyes to prevent them getting gonorrhea. Right guys, so to make the silver nitrate I will sadly have to destroy this beautiful Queen Elizabeth Canada leaf silver coin, which is around 28 grams of pure silver and costs around $20. Making this situation worse for me is that the coin couldn't fit into that 2932 cut 500ml vacuum flask, so off camera I've decided to hammer it so that it would fit. That's because silver is generally very malleable, so it was actually pretty easy. However, I'm pretty sure I'll be killed when the queen finds out. Wait a minute. <laughs> Okay, but seriously, now that I've got the silver source into the flask, now I have added a bunch of concentrated nitric acid. At first, I was quite confused why the acid didn't immediately start dissolving the silver. So, I've added even more. And that didn't really do anything. So, I figured that I've just had to heat it up. Because, as it turns out, my homemade acid wasn't that concentrated. After a few minutes, the nitric acid started dissolving the silver, which resulted in blood red fumes, which are a gas called nitrogen dioxide. Nitrogen dioxide is deadly in high amounts, so to combat this, I've decided to lead this tube into a sodium hydroxide trap, which neutralizes the nitrogen dioxide by converting it into harmless sodium nitrate. Also, I forgot to get a 2932 cut stopper, which is fit just for this flask. I've had to improvise. I think this setup is actually pretty funny and I have no idea why. As you can see, as the time progresses, the inside of the flask is getting even more red. That's because the more the acid gets heated up, the stronger it is. Eventually, so much nitrogen dioxide got produced that it overcame my reverse funnel trap, and I've had to reroute the tube out of the window. As the reaction was near the end, crystals of silver nitrate began to form. Amogus. So after the reaction was mostly finished, I've decided to dismantle the apparatus. Here's the flask with the nitrogen dioxide flushed out of it. To separate the solution, I've decided to perform form a simple gravity filtration. So after the filtration I've let it dry out in my desiccator and here's our final use of silver nitrate. Thanks for watching everyone, this is what I'm currently working on, be sure to subscribe.